frame rate's a bit poopy. The uh, English version of this is unfortunately tied down by some of the same problems I had with the Japanese version, which is um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to record. So I have to run it in windowed mode, which is devastating to the frame rate, um, in order to get it to record properly. If I don't run it in windowed mode, for some reason it just refuses to record. So. Oh, now the reinforcements show up. Okay, you just keep making whatever it is you're making. I'm guessing there's a cutscene here, considering all these people are standing around with cameras over their heads. Okay, Toto made it back. Good for Toto. Though you couldn't place it, the man's tattoo looked incredibly familiar. Sure. Either you had seen it before, or it was the most powerful case of deja vu that had ever struck you. It was the most powerful case of deja vu that had ever struck me. screamed in protest. An image exploded into your mind. You recalled a man with obsidian hair giving you a uniform. This is quite a, a um, dramatic shoulder, reading. Mirrored the design of the sword hanging from his belt. Both the sword and embroidery perfectly matched the tattoo you just found on the dead man. Wow. You remembered feeling proud to wear that uniform. Proud to truly be a part of something. I did. Your headache flashed again, and the memory faded. You realized you'd never worn a uniform like that. But how did I have that memory? Why are they sliding across the ground in the background? Okay. I kind of make fun of these things a little bit just because it's sort of like, I've done all this before in the Japanese one, and they've kind of refit everything to what they want it to be in the English version, so it's, it's sort of silly to me. But yeah, so I'll tease this game a bit and stuff while I'm playing it. Don't take it personally. I'm just kind of having some fun, poking some fun, you know. I like I have been enjoying it so far. Um I always liked Dark Age and being able to actually understand more of what's going on in terms of uh, like, you know, inventory and stats and stuff like that. That's that's fantastic. That's really great. Um but if I'm poking fun a bit at the storyline, it's cuz probably they they've changed a few things that don't quite add up a bit as much or they've just rewrote it entirely. But anyway, yeah. Let's see, Murta is up by the new housing area. Has an old beat-up anvil. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you borrowed it to break the lock on that box. Yeah, okay. You know, could be a box full of poison or something. But we'll just crack it open. Sure. Maybe this was the very guy I wasn't supposed to let get his hands on the thing. Dangerous contents. Oh, okay. Let's set my home point here. With this cool martial arts move. Yaw. Would it not have just been easier to pick up the pen and write down what I wanted it to say? Meh. Warehouse manager. Duck named Lucius. Carpentry merchant. Do you sell carpet? No, but you sell furniture, I guess. I guess that kind of works. My level is too low. Okay. Here, lady. I want to sell you... 
this is. So you guys, if you start in the Hariharan area, or the Har... Har it's Hariharan. I don't care what they renamed it. It's Hariharan, and it will always be Hariharan to me. Um, if you start in the Hariharan area, get the cactuses. Just, like, not the small ones. Look for the full-grown ones, but just pick up some of the cactuses, and you will, uh... You'll be able to earn some money that way. And it's good. Okay, I'm supposed to go... Over here, here's Murtaz. Okay. They use labor points. It's all stuff I covered in my other videos. Looks like some sort of artifact. I need to talk to Tumon. Hey, I might know something, but... I'm not trying to cheat you. I just want some assurance. Basically, I want to cheat you. I'm just gonna slide across the ground here. No biggie. Just, just, you know. Gonna keep that horizontal momentum. I already that was quick. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Uh, no dachi are, are nice. I like that. So I gotta sort, I need to identify this somehow. Okay, there's the skills guy. Well, that reminds me, I got a skill back before, didn't I? Ah, it's the charge, okay, cool. I need the general goods person. Seed merchant, sapling merchant, carpentry merchant. Wait, wait. Oh, duh. Now I feel like a total idiot. I was, I said carpentry merchant. I, th I was thinking carpentry merchant, like he sells rugs. Yeah, that'd be me just pulling a major retard moment there. <laughs> to be fair, I had some allergy issues today, and so I ended up taking some uh, anti-allergy stuff, which is basically like sleeping pills, so I'm just trying real hard not to get drowsy. Uh, okay, so we'll come here and talk to Tumon. You recognize the name Shadowhawks. Many members didn't bother working undercover. They even wore uniforms, flaunting their crimes. But you also recognize the name Shadowhawk for other reasons. Your head 
pounded as more unfamiliar memories flashed in your vision. The memories centered around the dead man's tattoo. You saw it forged into a dagger handle. Belt yourself, sliding the dagger between someone's ribs. That's gotta be a bit creepy. Are you going crazy? No, maybe okay. Yeah, maybe a bit. I earned two skill points. Sweet. So I notice here they've moved these so that no longer are these skills like in a clump here with the passives going up the side in a straight line. So, um... Oromancy or defense. Hmm... Increases melee attack by 5%. I mean, why wouldn't I want that? Mm, yeah. Vitalism. Defense. Yeah, we'll do defense, sure. Sweet, just increase my health for 30 minutes. Random, but okay. Okay. got your family and your young friends of yours to worry about. Are you sure you have to... Th I don't know what family she's talking about. Okay, she's she's got connections. Now, let's see. Um, Lucius has turned into a giant rabbit. That's a big rabbit. Kindle, for all your book reading needs. General Merchant, here we go. What is this? Okay, yeah, that's good. Um... license farm cart design oh farm cart right Lots of interesting stuff here. right-click on it to identify it. Okay, that's different. Boom, health increase. Is this 
staff. And a normal Harani sword. Wow, I got quite a bit of silver out of that thing. Or those things. Um, okay. I'm also, like, stuck in this guy. Now we're talking. I've got a Nodachi. Which is basically just really big sword. He's cute. These Shadowhawks sure seem to be troubling this village. Much better. Newborn ant. I don't know that I would feel right to killing off newborn ants. As creepy as these things may be. Cutest noises when I get hurt. Ah, uh. Not not the most intimidating warrior out there, but hey. Okay, I have collected all of the food and knapsacks. And we're gonna go back to town here. After we smack this ass. Remember, if you use the charge and then you use the uh, triple slash thing, it like knocks guys down. But it only does it if you use it right after charging them. Okay, double tapping does get you to auto boost here, auto charge. Oh, whoops. I didn't need to come back here, but somebody's got a quest for me, apparently. Wow, you are dirty. Mint seeds. seed and collect a mature mint plant 
just one. And okay, we'll just stick it there. It doesn't it doesn't even ask me like where I want to put it. It literally just sticks it wherever I was standing. just go walk inside of this dude's house? Like, that's not suspicious at all. Wait, where... It's this house, right? Why did I turn black? What on earth? Uh, okay, yeah, there's my clothes, thank you. Dude's got nothing in his house but these ridiculously large beds. And a picture of a really cute girl from the actual Originaru game. in shopping, go to the local mall, which is apparently on this particular island for either faction. It's the World Mall. Well, that's a bit embarrassing. Uh, this was supposed to be the part where I um, go on to show you the preview of the next episode and all of that stuff, but I made a bit of a miscalculation and the the beta test, which I thought was ending on the 10th, actually ended on the 8th, and therefore I wasn't actually able to record any more footage in English. So unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the um, English beta test videos for now. Uh, when the game is actually released, which I believe is coming out uh, possibly a week from now, I think is the date. Um, when that happens, I, I will probably do some more recording and um, show you guys some more of that. But then again, you can play it for yourselves. But um, anyways, that's going to be it for now. So sorry about the uh, sudden cutoff there. And uh, as always, um, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the videos and stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.